Choose you this day whom you will serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It's Social Security Officer Joshua reporting. All right, look at all this trouble I'm going through because I think I'm missing some packages that were delivered to Walmart. I took a screenshot confirming the delivery. I took a look outside of my sweatpants and t-shirt and slip-on short shoes. Um, I didn't see nothing sitting around, and I did notice a few hours ago, which corresponds about the time the delivery was, the landlord walking across my front yard back and forth, and he kind of caught a glimpse of me, catching a glimpse of him as I was walking back and forth, so I was cooking me some burritos. But uh, anyway, uh, like I said, I just noticed a notification. So I'm just saying, you know, all the trouble I'm having. Um, I want to make sure that if he, if and probably can get to confront him about this, um, I'm going to hand him that piece of paper, you know, the legal stuff. And, you know, after I offer him the choice to either accept rent or, you know, face some legal, you know, get into some legal entanglements with me. But anyway, to make sure I gather all the evidence I can just to go and find out if he took my packages or if they're all the way out at the other end of the driveway. I'm uh, making sure I get some audio and video recording devices so everything's gone. Well, the cordless lay pal mic that was real harsh for the bird, or for the uh, uh, Social Security Officer Joshua reporting video would work good for this, you know, just to get some, you know, evidence audio wirelessly. But the Samsung tablet I'm recording on right now doesn't have a microphone jack, so I'm, you know, uploading a... Uh, audio recording software that'll work even if the screen gets turned off to you know make sure no matter what that I get our voices whatever said and all that um, you know you see I got my little pepper spray thing just in case I've, I've made a dedication to not carry a gun around on this property if he does anything to him and I'll be clear about it everybody sees it's, it's on him Um, but anyway, so the microphone will work for a tablet, which would be perfect for the tablet I can set up in the back bedroom window, you know, which is facing right down the driveway where I expect the package might be. The only place I can't see, you know, readily. That's some more bad rhyming. But anyway, um, I'm still going to record this for video, and uh, I'll probably just use the microphones on the phone itself. See if I can't run both programs, the, uh, the camera app and the auto recorder at the same time, so I'm not switching back and forth. Um, um, but I might just have to run the camera app, you know what I'm saying, primarily and eh, all this. But anyway, yeah, I had to clear, you know, 20 or 30 gigabytes of data that I used on that last video, you know, and find another folder and get all the settings changed around for the just evidence recording, you know, and, and again, hold on. Yeah, so I can't record with a screen locked or unlocked. Oh, well. Alright, this is what I was talking about. See, I got all dressed up in my pants and socks and everything else now to go do this. I just should not do this. I'll take my uh, tablet, go set it up there in the back window, point it, get it turned on. Um, got this thing set so that as long as you don't hit the power button, the screen don't go off and start recording. And, uh, you know, got all my stuff secure. All I'm gonna have is a pepper spray and a knife just in case he lunges at me through the pepper spray. Just, I mean, I don't want it to happen. I'm just thinking of anything and everything. Um, I don't think it's gonna happen. Like I said, these little things, see, the thing is, is it's, it's, it's not like it's every time he sees me and I see him that we have an incident, but when it, but it's almost on a, a regular occurrence that something's gonna happen here and there, and when oh, they, they're catastrophic. Um, all right, yeah, that's another thing I do. Every minute, this thing's gonna uh, pop off on the recorder and save the file. Maybe two minutes, I can't remember, but uh, so that again, if anything happens, it's on the SD card. You know, you know what I'm saying? Cover this, figure out what happened. <laughs> Check this out. My old phone case is gonna come in real handy today. Normally I've been carrying it around in this thing here, which doubles as a kind of a wallet and you know, a bit of secure. Um, and I was like, well, you know, maybe I should take my wallet stuff out of it, just put the phone in. But the problem is these muffle up the microphones. Well, this thing here, keeps the microphones wide open. 
and I was thinking, you know, maybe I need to cut a hole in this for the camera to pop out of, but that'd be kind of obvious and mess that whole thing up. Then I remembered, oh yeah, I got a couple of different cases. Well, I found one of them that's complete. So, it's a little hard pushing the buttons if I remember correctly, which is actually exactly what I need right now. It'll sit on my clip so the camera's always running. He won't know it, because the screen will be facing in. Oh, awesome. I'm making an adventure out of this, huh, everybody? So much for my car wizard video. <laughs> well, let's go to figure out to see if he took my stuff as some kind of crazy catalyst for communication or out of revenge, retaliation, whatever, doesn't matter. He shouldn't have done anything but ignore it or let me know who's here. That's it. If they did anything done, if it's just sitting there at the end and he don't bother me too much, or he accepts the paperwork and everything, you know, the way he's supposed to, then eh, it'll be what it is. All right. I got my phone all nice and right now secured. I'm ready to record. See, I got the screen lock thing, so you can't accidentally undo it unless you do it on purpose. Let's go ahead and test it out. Sorry about this bad angle. Let's try sticking this out. All right. So that angle's working good. Let's hit record. Now recording. And good screen lock. Again, that power button's nice and uh, difficult to press. That's one reason why I stopped using it, other than the fact that this in here just kind of... So, let's uh, rotate this around so the camera's a little more centered. Kind of like a body cam right now, I guess. Um, I'm not going to hold like this, you know, it's not going to be obvious. It's going to be mostly for audio and just backup video if I just, you know what I'm saying, happen. Alright. You can see that I got that thing set up, recording. Now let's go. Alright, here we go. Let's get our business done. Hopefully we won't need this. I don't think so, but just in case stupidity happens. I don't think I'm taking care of my birds too. Come on, guys. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. All right, birds are in the cage. Now I can go outside and take care of what I got to take care of. Nah, I shouldn't have. Well, uh, lock my door or not? Uh, all right, let's give it a try.
I noticed. Look at all the feathers, a little spot like a dead bird. Like somebody put it there on purpose, if you know what I mean. Hey, Louis, see Walmart delivery for me? Hey, look, we can get along. You can accept rent or, you know, I can go talk to a lawyer. Talk to a lawyer about yes, what? Sir. About what? Go look it up. Go talk to a lawyer about what? Go look it up. Like I said, you can either accept rent and get along or you can go do some homework and figure out what my rights are versus yours. No. Fifth of the month is when my due date. I'm going to bring the money to you tomorrow. You either accept it or I'm talking to an attorney. Yep. I already looked it up, guys. Dude, I spent, I spent three or four hours the other day looking it up. You can't just do this to me. Your terrency is over, guy. Only the police can remove me, and you have to figure out how to make that happen. And good luck, because what you're doing is called a retaliatory eviction, and it is illegal. I can get you for an injunction if you do not accept my money tomorrow. There, you saw how that went. I had to go get that from him. But I got it. And I had to literally take it from him. You saw me reach out and actually have to like pull it from him. He was not gonna give that to me without me actually putting in the force, but he didn't hold on very tight at all. The moment I showed him I'm dominant, I'm alpha, I'm doing what I'm gonna do, because this is what I'm gonna do, he didn't resist. The moment his mind clicked. <laughs> Yo, secure, set security officer Joshua. You see how this is gonna be handled. You know, after self-evaluation, I have to say that I've noticed a peculiar habit of walking away from this fella and just raising my voice as I get further away from him to bridge the, you know, the physical gap to make sure that, you know, he hears me as well as he does the entire time. Part of that, is, I think, I believe it's from him shouting back at me. Part of it is his insanity. What it really means is, is I don't want to be within six feet of him unless I absolutely have to. And right now, there's only one reason why I got to be, maybe two reasons why I got to be within six feet of him once in a while. And that's to hand him some mail and to hand him rent and get a receipt. You know what I mean? And I don't even have to hand him the mail, really. He can go run and get it himself. You know, and I can just go get my mail and leave his in the box. Uh, but I do have to get bring the key back and forth because there's only one key, so that's why I say I might as well just hand him the mail. Um, you know, um, I wouldn't have had to be within six feet of him today because I didn't even hand him that letter. Uh, you heard what I said. I uh, decided instead just, you know, to, to say those, two, you know, get, just say what I said and walk away quickly because, again, he, I, I can't be there more than a few moments. And the only reason why I had to be physically near him was because he physically had my package. Again, I believe that's breaking the law. Um, I'm not pressing charges, but this is evidence to that. Um, anyway, but the moment I had that in my possession, he, you know, he released instantly. You know, as soon as I started pulling on him, I started backing away and continuing the gap. And you say, well, why didn't you get the six feet? You say, and then stop. Well, because with the type of person he is, he's likely to follow or chase. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm just, you know, the gap is just always expanding in the, and, and I'm going straight to my house too as a indirect, you know, method of communication that, you know, you know, I'm done. I'm locking myself in. I'm not, you know, don't even try to, you know, do anything else because it's over. But does it work or not? I don't know. Well, anyway, um, I got one more thing to say that I actually just recorded before this and now we'll watch that now, so. All right, I got this lapel microphone tamed down and figured out. So maybe I didn't waste my money on it. Maybe we can all benefit from 
better audio quality. All right. Well, you know, after I uh, did what I did today, I have to say, I feel a lot better about myself, my situation. I feel so much more secure. I'm way less stressed and anxious. My anxiety's back down. You know what I mean? And, you know, best of all, I really feel like a man. I feel like I'm taking good care of myself. I'm not letting others take advantage of me. But at the same time, I'm not harming, if anything, helping those around me. So, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Does he accept the rent and hand me a receipt? Or do I got to go ahead and consult an attorney and do the uh, injunction thing? We'll see. This is Social Security Officer Joshua, signing out.